my sincere apologies oh. for both startling ah. you and for making you wait. Is that better? My attention was needed elsewhere. Okay, sweet. I promise from I can go on, more. I figured out the slider now. But silver linings. Oh, he was listening. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Please sign in here. First time in Chicago. I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. Oh, a honeymoon. How very, very lovely. Oh, her face glitched. <clears throat> Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. Yes. While he's letting Today's me sign? Of our honeymoon. How independent. Congratulations. In that World's case, Fair Hotel. an upgrade is in order. A honeymoon suite it is. Oh, well, uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The oh. upgrade is on us. You're not your looking at me. Our first Honeymooners. Why are you so Honey. obviously creepy? Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Oh, it is H.H. H. Holmes. Howard Holmes. You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed I thought it was just based on him. Myself. You're an architect then? Architect, designer, builder, dreamer, doctor, <laughs> artist. I'm a man of many interests impressive please have a look around we have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter i'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order just make a note if you decide to purchase anything and we will add it to your bill okay here's the one thing so far i'm already thinking about this i know they're trying to make him creepy like trying to like telegraph to the audience that he's creepy but you don't get away with convincing so many people to stay in your hotel and they kind of alluded to it there that he has like a pharmacy he took over if memory serves he took over a woman's pharmacy that was like in the building where he wanted to build by killing her and then leaving the pharmacy to himself um and so that was how he got like her pharmacy business it was like part of a money laundering thing or like a money gathering scheme. Anyway, you don't do all that by being that obviously creepy. You have to be a little bit schmoozier. I feel like it's giving too much creep. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's a little too obvious. But the atmosphere, it's fine. I just feel like... Yes, Rose the Liar. Oh my God, I just saw your message. Yes, they didn't even try to make him charismatic. He's just creepy. Like, we need the charisma. I, it's too much slime. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. We appreciate Do it. Do I get to fuck this guy or what? The pleasure is all mine. Um, it's his wedding day. I assure you the pleasure will be all his. Kind of looks like the guy from Bandersnatch. <laughs> Meg, please. No. I won't, Meg, please. Ooh, a face powder. Now, what did I forget to bring? Ooh, bath milk? Face powder seems like it could be, like, arsenic. What could be in the bath milk? Ooh, or a candle? Oh, I just have to pick one. Yeah, I'm gonna pick bath milk. There is poison right behind the bath milk. Can I turn it over? Or... No? Okay. Probably shouldn't have picked the bath milk. <laughs> Probably all poison. Oh, 
Pardon me, miss. Careful, you. My husband gets off oh. with men who act fresh. We're hmm. already role-playing! Like Let's go! How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Yes! Well, Put on a mask, bro. Let's go. Sure <laughs> See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> um, I would like to know. <laughs> Where's Ghostface? <laughs> There's only one room, one bed at the end. <laughs> Wonder what's in here. Probably another room, bitch. I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. And Ferris do you wheels, like that? Or rooms. are you gonna Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. <sighs> yeah. Oh, did he kick in the door? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. That's right, bitch. Wait. You better know. What's that? <laughs> I do need a bonking mode. <gasps> Don't move. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was a thrill. You won't think it's thrilling if we're <laughs> sleeping on the street after getting kicked out of here. She's like, I am. Let's go. So turned on right now. <laughs> Listen, you gotta get your kids. It's the 1800s, bitch. You gotta get your kicks while you're young enough to get them. <laughs> what is it in Otter's pocket? <laughs> I've heard that before, but <laughs> it's Welcome still very funny. <laughs> to the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, we haven't I seen have anyone else in this hotel to return to. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. I like that her kink is danger, and I have been reading a lot of books about that. <laughs> <laughs> they also have been. Goodness, this place is fit for a king or my queen. Oh, you yeah. ow, ow. Kiss this. Wait, what? That is not very wifely of Bitch. you. Bitch. Oh, fuck. Hey. Ah. Bullseye. I was eating my Pokeball. You asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> Should I be frightened? If you're smart. I'm going to make you frightened. <laughs> this is what they did on wedding nights in Victorian times. They had pillow fights. Mercy, mercy. Okay, you win. Anything broken? Um, Only let me show pride. you. How about a peace offering? Hmm. This feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not at all. I have a gift for you. Get your shoes off the bed, bitch. Close your eyes and face the mirror. Aren't you clever and romantic? If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. Okay, you're gonna get something else to the face. Is there a problem? No. Open your eyes. Ooh! Oh, Jack, is it a lovely. Is it a locket? I love it. Good. <laughs> Victory is mine. Now take off that ridiculous that top. Oh, 
Hello, people. Why would you? Can I ask a question about this people? <laughs> it's my first thought about this people is, why would you have a people where you can't fully see the bed? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Waste of a people! <laughs> okay, we're struggle busting with the bathroom door. Why are we moaning so much? It's jammed shut. Maybe if we put a little weight into it? Put your weight into me, bro. Open sesame. <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. <laughs> Shush. Shave. I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. <laughs> don't you worry. I don't get to be the girl taking a bath? Come on now. The lobby's that way. I feel like I'm gonna get killed if I fuck around too much. <clears throat> oh, what's this? An ashtray. Are there any collectibles like the cards? Oh, that was in the quarry. <laughs> Look, it's a couple on their wedding day. I get to say horny things about them, okay? Hmm. I could have sworn this was the way we came up. The lobby's back there. I'm worried about offing him. Yeah, no, I know. Oh, do I open it? Oh, do we open it? <laughs> do I open it or do I just go to the lobby? I feel like go to the lobby. Cough problems on purpose. <laughs> you only die once. I know, I wanna make it to... I wanna make it to Maybell, or whatever the fuck her name is. I feel like I noticed that the sign said lobby. I'm not gonna open it. I feel like these two are probably fucked anyways, but. <clears throat> Is this a horny game? Yes, no. Man, there's a lot of doors you can open. All right, the lobby's here. Oh, I can't open the lobby door? What? Yeah, it says lobby. <gasps> I can't open it. Can I go open the bathroom? <laughs> This is the bathroom. Oh, let me in, bitch! <laughs> I'm your husband. I get to fucking open this door. Okay, so I, I can't do any of that. I can't open any of these doors. Like, she's the one seeking a thrill, not me. Alright, fine. Fuck. I guess I'm going to the, cause I can open this where we just were, where we almost got caught. Better not. Ah, okay. Our fucking vanilla ass doesn't want to go in there.
All right, well, it's you and me, bro. I tried to save you. What? Trap door! Oh my god! Oh my god! Run, bitch! Run for your life! Marie! Oh no! I can I just tell you that I when I just said trap door like that's literally the exclamation that naturally came out of my like like as soon as I said it I was like why did I just say that I didn't say it to like narrate what was happen happening I just naturally was like trap door like that's something that you say okay uh oh can I quit my my bath milk. Oh no, I'm using it. It's definitely poison. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get to the title scene. Oh my, what the fuck was that? Oh, it's just, is that not a man? Did you not see the hat? Was there a fucking guy there? I swear to fuck, I saw a hat. Did you guys see that hat? Oh, I like that she's bathing with the necklace on. Yes, bitch. Oh no. Oh no, the bath milk. Why are we always moaning? Is that you, darling? Jeff? Oh my God, it's definitely not Jeff's pants. Oh, are we playing another game? Oh no! Oh no, Mr. Ghostface. Uh, ah, what do I do? Uh, 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 I'm investigating. <sighs> okay, Mr. Sneaky. You can't sneak up on me, Mr. <gasps> Holmes. Holmes. Hello, my What are dear. you doing in here? Jeff? I don't think he can quite hear you. <laughs> Finished yet. I just want to take some pictures. Oh. Don't fight it. Will only hurt more if you do. You are back now, yes, yes, bitch! Prolong the inevitable. Okay, that didn't seem to phase it very much. <laughs> what? What are you? What have you done? Calm yourself, sir. So it's good that we picked the so bath milk. Oh no! It didn't help us though. Is there a problem, sir? Run, Jeff! Oh, Jeff, it doesn't matter if you run. Whoops, it's not the lobby. Yes, bitch! You could take this man, Jeff. That's why I feel like I'm going to wait till this is over. We knew they weren't going to survive. <laughs> yes, bitch. Get up. Power through. Go, Marie. Damn, Marie's waist was snatched. Marie! You're wasting your last chance to tell him that you love him. This is very... We're taking a lot of liberties here. <laughs> oh, Marie... Jeff. Jeff never got to fuck! Just think, if you had been 
Falcon instead of pillow fighting. You would have gotten it in, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff died scare roused. <laughs> yeah, but the rules, rules of a horror movie, they should have been fine. Place for everything. Everything in its place. Well, look at this. Oh, it's wonderful. Only the best for you, my dear. Mother would simply die. It's so I say, popular. good man, do you work here? Hello. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Oh. We gotta do this music video. I will say, I feel like H.H. Holmes, let's just enjoy this first. God, you're so hot. <laughs> oh, you're here. Have you been waiting long? <laughs> Welcome to my repository. Don't glitch like that. It's weird. Collection of stories that are dark, frightening, horrific. I am the curator. Goes a little fit. It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. <clears throat> art can elicit all sorts of reactions. Delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, would affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. Drink. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices, and sometimes, it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant <clears throat> events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. <laughs> People used to call them obbles. 
They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Just say bonk. I don't even need to say what. Else. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly <laughs> make it worth your while. Well, shall we start? The game is afoot. <laughs> How are you going to be watching? How are you gonna say, have you seen one of these? They're very old and have it panned straight down this man's chest. Uh, okay. <coughs> an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. Thank you, Chief Acer. And, uh, and yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. I'm not sure I've got issues. Your haircut no, says maybe everyone. you might be. I, I'm working on it. I. Hey, I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, <laughs> at a great time. Really want to get back to some serious photography. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a uh, it's a job. I've been a key grip and lighting test for years. See a problem, light it. You don't often meet someone like that, man. How do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonitz, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track. It was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and, um, didn't quite uh, oh. uh, hit the mark as I was hoping. Who's it creeping in? It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. Yeah, this is very <laughs> local resident. <laughs> I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. <laughs> oh, look at those glasses! <laughs> I was born with the devil in me. Drink! I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. To poet sing? Bury me deep, your honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with more cement, cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. <gasps> On May 7th, yeah. 1996. Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders, but his investigators sifted through the traces he left behind following his path from city to city, the number grew significantly. Nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer, and possibly the worst. He was buried as requested under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? Do. So, what do you think? Oh, nobody's happy. To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold oh. that thought. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking, Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I want you to I'm do a show. It's called you, MTV's Dumet. This all sounds Fear. Amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? 
We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes. Of course. We're in. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's do it. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Right. Let's load up, guys. Um... All right, got it. Can I'm I good. see someone's face, or...? <laughs> all right. Are you? Uh, all right. I mean... Don't be rude. That ring light that makes you all glowy. If we leave him behind, it's... Right. You're right. This is gonna be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. <clears throat> Anyone? Road trip. Huzzah. Woohoo. Hooray. This is gonna be great, guys. Okay. Do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises? You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka. Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault. Because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. <laughs> no. <laughs> While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that is may this share information that can affect my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do it. Fine. For the show. For the show. I'm telling you, this is gonna be great. You said that in Topeka. <clears throat> well. I just feel like we're having to hand over our phones, but you could just make us sign an NDA. Like, obviously, I'm this not gonna give up my phone. Shouldn't he have service or something? This guy gonna help? <clears throat> to be fair, he's a, a driver, no. not your. Really? I got it. Henchman. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it, jackass. Okay, so now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. No, yeah. why? It makes it creepy. We'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. The, the visuals will be great. And we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. We'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. <laughs> Gotta make sure there's no pictures anywhere, bro. look down here real quick. <clears throat> Can't go 
in. Oh, this would have been a great place to hide something. Damn. This is taking too long. All right, fine, fine, fine. Can you run or anything? No? Okay. Oh, am I missing something? You can tell me if I miss something. Like, give me a chance. But am I about to hit A and I'm missing something right now? Oh, okay. What did you see? Say out loud. Use your words. What did you see? Shut up! Oh, is it? Did you see the point where I need to go up? It's okay, sweetie. Alright. Yeah, no worries. I, I was wondering that. I can jog now. Hello. Oh, Jesus, that is loud. It's meant to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but... Oh, These cliffs so are subject to erosion. A. We must be able to work our way around. Come on. Anything for the shot, right? Doesn't look too serious. The warning about everything falling into the ocean. I'm gonna say we trusted and not die. Nah, this sign is something the lawyers made them put up. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Hard disagree. Listen, Mark, I just wanted to say um, thanks for backing me up, man. What? About getting this footage? Wow, look last, how spry. You know, some of the crew can be challenging to work with. Jamie and Kate would never have agreed to come if you hadn't been on board. I figured that the episode was such a mess, we needed all the help we could get. Right. Yeah. I guess we do. Ooh, there's a plaque. Oh, this is... Anything over okay. here? Okay, I won't lie. I was hoping being here, all remote and away from the world, that maybe I'd have some downtime, some space to decompress. Downtime? Why would you want to do that? You know, relax a bit. I've never seen the attraction. Hello. There we go. Must have been quite a storm. Hmm. Okay. Lots of ghosts around. <laughs> Here! <-ya! laughs> Can you just fit through that hole, or? Hey, when we wrap, I'd like to take a couple weeks off, go see my family. I need you in post. I really appreciate that concerning eye of yours, you know. I've got a lot going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh. Right, yeah, of course. Sure. Take a couple of weeks. Get your head together. I appreciate it. Not how Hope production works. You should do the same. Take some time out. You got any family you can go and bother? Oh, well. You know, Mrs. Bonnet, you got hiding in some closet somewhere? Married to the job. Married to the job. <laughs> a 
How's that marriage working out? Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. <laughs> Thank you.